Hi, I'm Mike. You may need to replace the hinge bumper on your GE washer model if you notice that the bumper on your washer is missing. For this repair, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, two putty knives, and a flathead screwdriver. Before doing any repairs, completely disconnect your appliance from its power source. We're going to take out these three screws. Once all the screws have been removed, we're just going to gently push up on the display assembly and slide it out. And next we're going to disconnect all the wires that are connecting the control panel to the washer machine. Using two putty knives, which is, I feel a lot easier, I'm just going to find the clips that are holding the top of the washer to the front of the panel. Pull the door out and lift it off with these clips on the bottom. And remove the front cabinet panel. Next, we're going to remove these screws located right here. This will allow us to remove the door and the top panel of the washer. Next, we're going to lift up on the washer door. We're going to be removing this door switch from this inside of the top panel. We're just going to lift up on the top panel and using our flathead screwdriver, we're just going to push the clip, the door switch in. We're going to push the door switch out. Once you've pushed the clip on the switch out and the switch has become loose, we're just going to pull up on it, turn it on the side, and slip it through the hole in the door. Next, we're going to shut the door and we're going to lift up on this top panel and remove it. So once we remove the door on the top panel, we're just going to place it somewhere safe so we continue our repair. Next we're going to lift up on the door and we're going to unscrew both hinges this way we can remove the door. So once both hinges have been unscrewed, we're just going to lift up and remove the door. So once the door is removed, I suggest removing a small wire form hinge. This way when you flip over the top panel, it won't fall out and get lost. So normally your hinge bumper is located right here. Ours, however, is missing. So we're gonna grab a new OEM replacement hinge bumper. If you don't have one of these hinge bumpers already, you can find one on one of our online stores. So all we're gonna do is just hold the hinge in place and with our hands, we're just gonna safely secure it on there. So once you've checked to make sure that your new hinge bumper is secure, we're going to flip the top panel over and reassemble everything we took off previously. So we're going to take the top panel of the washer and just set it down into somewhat of position. We're going to make sure that the door switch lock fits through and is snapped onto the inside of the panel. Next we're going to screw the top of the washer back into the side panels. So once the top panel is secured and screwed in, next we're going to put our door back on. Next, we're going to take our front panel and slide it back into place. So next, we're going to reattach all the wires going into the electronic control board. Next, we're going to slide the main display assembly back into place. So lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the screws that we took out previously. This way that the display assembly is secured to the washer. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. Thanks for watching our video. Please like, comment, or share. And if you liked our video, please subscribe down below.